Hey folks, uh, this is Johnny. <laughs> Welcome to another home studio trainer show. And I was just playing around with a Wawa effect on a guitar track that I added. And I uh, wanted to share it with you. It's actually quite simple. And many of you probably already know how to do this. But I thought for the beginners... This would be a great thing to start with. All right, so if you guys could, before we get started, uh, like and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. If you're over on Rumble, please hit the follow button. And if you want to help support the channel, click the Patreon link down in the description, and you can follow me over there. All right, and you can help support the channel as well. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see, should I open up the browser? I think I'm going to here. All right. Uh, so I've got this little mini track that I've been uh, playing around with. It's been in a couple videos, but instead of some voice uh, options that I had, I added a guitar solo. So um, when I was uh, going through this and I was looking to just kind of play around with it, I opened up Empire and I noticed there's a wah pedal here. <laughs> so I'm going to actually try this here. Let's see. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to practice with it. So let's see, I got cry. Oh, I've never actually uh, used any of these. Let's see. I want to see what these do. Gonna have to get with a real guitar guy to see what these other options are for here. I like the cry setting. All right, so I want to actually write this automation to the track. Now you can see here very, very lightly, these are all of my uh, pitch bend automation. So how would I actually add to this? Well, I'm gonna go right to the knob. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to say, edit automation, wah wah pedal. Bang, there we go. And that is the wah wah information now. If I actually want to write what I do to this, because right now the line is just going to go up and down. I would actually go here and where it says auto, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to put write. I could also use uh, touch if I wanted to, but I'm going to use write in this case. So now watch what happens. <laughs> Very cool. And it wrote all of the automation that I did. Whoops. Okay, you see what happened there? <laughs> I've got to take it off of right. So let me see if I can do a control Z. Ah, that's good. All right, so when you're in touch mode, it won't overwrite if you don't switch to read. But when you're in write mode, you must go to the read mode. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> Very cool. I do like the wah option at the end, but I'm not quite sure I like what I did with the pitch bend automation vibrating at the same time. I'm going to quickly show you how to fix that. So let's actually go off of automation mode there. I'm going to double click and I am going to see if I can get my automation. Now, where's my automation? There we go. All right. 
I clicked on the little squiggly line here. All right, so I want to go to the pitch bend. There it is. So I want to get rid of this so that only the wah vibration shows. So I'm just going to highlight this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say delete. Boom, done. So now that that is done, if I go back to the automation mode here, now at the end, we should just hear the vibrating of the wah. Nice. <laughs> just like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's important to understand that with certain automation options, it depends on, whoops, it depends on what view you have. So I decided to actually put this view for the WA up. And you can see in the background, you can see the automation for the, um, uh, for the uh, vibrato. And I can turn that display off, double click, and then I can go down to this automation option here. So I hope that that makes sense. Anyway, that takes care of that. I got a nice little uh, wah segment on my, uh, my guitar track. Hopefully you guys found that helpful, and I will see you all in the next video.